Hello, I'm Isaac Ostrom, and thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a LED lighted shampoo niche, or niche, or niche. A niche is one of these things. You can see here, it's a recessed cubby to put your shampoo, your soap, your loofah, candles, whatever you want to put in this bad boy. And we actually put LED lighting in here. So. Um, the niche, a lot of a lot of the designers, uh, so so these niches are all the rage in the tile installation. If you see a shower on Pinterest, Instagram, whatever, it's gonna have a niche in it. So what we've been doing, because it's an area where a lot of designers are using accents, you know, maybe a cool glass mosaic, maybe a hexagon tile, something really cool in the, the niche. It's like a, a piece of artwork, like a feature that you're gonna be looking at. What we've been doing is putting LED lighting, dimmable LED waterproof lighting in the back of the niches so that it lights up that whole wall, acts as a accent light, or it can be like a night light so you can dim it all the way down. I haven't talked to too many guys who know how to do this. Uh, the advantage we have of being full bathroom remodelers is, is we, we tie all of these things into our showers. If you're just a tile guy, you know, show this video to your electrician. He should be able to get all the parts for you, but I'm gonna go over the parts with you anyways so that you can find out how to do it on your own. So basically, the main components of an LED lighting system is you have, have the lighting strip. So this is LED lighting. Let me see if I can focus in. And you can see all of these little spaces, the, the copper terminals, those are all places that you can cut this. So this can be cut at a foot or it can come in a 16 foot roll. You know, for a niche you're usually using just a, a foot or this two. Is, this is a magnetic dimmable driver. So this dimmable driver, what it does is it converts 120 volt electricity coming that's at the house, converts it on the other side to 12 volt DC low voltage. So once it's run out of here, all you need is like a speaker cable. This is a 16 gauge two conductor regular speaker wire and then that runs to your to your lighting. So I'm going to show you how to hook all of that up. One thing that I'm, I'm really proud that I discovered myself is that this lighting strip here, so here, here's a cut piece that I already made fits really nicely into Schluter's SG Deco profile. So this profile, so the SG profile fits, fits the lighting in really nicely and it fits in there nice and snug and it creates a waterproof place for the light to sit in there. So I'm gonna go over all this. Thanks for watching my videos. I'm really excited about this, so stay tuned. I'm gonna do a little time lapse and I'm gonna stop it when I get to installing that SG profile. Okay, so now you can see I've got the back tile on, I got the sides on, and I stopped. So this is the top. If, if we're on a wall, this would be the top, this would be the bottom. So you can see I poked through my 16-2 uh, wire here. And as you can see, I made a little notch in this tile. You want to make sure that this wire can go in and out. You don't want it to get bound up inside the wall to where it's, it's just stuck there. While it can be done, it is a lot easier if you have some play in this. And I'm going to show you that when I do the soldering of the, the LED niche. So, I got this in, now I got my SG profile, and I'm actually going to just rest the wire right in there like that, and put my profile in, and you can see it still, still can play, even with the SG profile in there, it can still have some play. So I got that, and then my last piece of tile, so here I got my last piece of tile. There we go. And as you can see, 
I got my SG profile in there and my wire is still has still can move. With uh, when it kind of wants to come up on you. So it helps to use some tape to to get it into place. And now what he's doing is he's just getting getting it uh, kind of pre-soldered. We're getting a little primer on the spot. So if you can see here, okay, so you can see here there's a positive and negative terminals right here. Turn my finger. Positive and negative. And so um, th that's where the wire attaches. So on these strips, you can actually cut at any one of these junctions right here where the, the copper terminals are. So we just did a little bit of um, solder on there. It's, it's easier to get the wires to attach if you get some solder on there first. Now you can see we're going to do the same thing to the ends of the wires. We're going to get some solder on there. going to go ahead and uh, he's going to put the two together. He's already pre-soldered both ends. Get a little bit better view here. Take off the okay. Now we have our solder. I'm going to go ahead and so there's double-sided sticky tape on the on the back side of the strip and that'll fit right up into that SG profile and just fit it right up in there beautiful really nice so now we got our wire poking out and we're gonna hook it into the low voltage side of our uh, transformer here okay so we got power now we got our our 16-2 uh, wire hooked up into the, the low voltage side here that's running into this switch which is plugged into an electrical cord so in the field this will be a piece of Romex coming out of uh, coming out of the wall, and then obviously um, this this would be a, a farther distant. Usually we put these transformers we put them up in the attic or down in the crawl space. Um, but yeah, show us how it works, Josh. Now that we have the dimmer on there, go ahead and slide so it up. You can uh, turn it up and down. Yep. So you can turn it up, and then uh, a lot of our customers turn it down at night for a night light just just so it's dimming but yeah really cool way to to make a feature in your shower awesome cool good job josh thank you beauty okay, okay so we're going to take 100 percent silicone here uh what color is this josh this is a translucent white it's like a milky white kind of not quite a straight white okay cool blends with a lot of stuff so we're just going to cover up Make sure this is 100% watertight. Just cover up that little spot. And then do the same thing in the corner over here. So that this is all waterproof. They call this LED strip IP65. And that's just the code, I believe, for it being weatherproof. You can put it outside. It can be in the water. So make sure uh, when you talk to the person your electrical supplier that's getting you the LED tell them you want the IP65 so that it can go in a wet area so there you have it I want to thank you guys again for checking out my videos and I hope this video of our lighted niche here 
will help set you apart from your competitors and when you do that you can make some more money but yeah this is just a way to kick up your installs a notch again thanks for checking these out I'm really having a lot of fun with these videos I really love the community that we're kind of building here I feel like I'm getting to know a lot of you guys out there and it's really nice to hear that you appreciate what I'm doing and in turn I appreciate you guys so again keep up the good work guys and I'll see you on the next video